Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, the issue of having a headstone or a gravestone uh, on the grave, in the graveyard, uh, this is not allowed. This is due to the hadith of uh, Jabir radiallahu anhu, where he said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, nahan nabi and you just as a qabr, that it's not permissible for a person to build upon the grave. They said that, you know, these people, when they, uh, when they, when, when their people pass away, according to the religion that they have seen, uh, other than Islam, they used to build upon their graves and they used to make shrines and they used to, you know, celebrate their lives in this manner. The Prophet ﷺ said, Ula'ika hum shiral khalq. These are the worst of creation. In the sense that, uh, they are opening the doors towards shirk in the, in the sense that they are opening the doors towards exaggeration and perhaps wailing and all these different major sins Therefore what you see in the graveyards where they've got gravestones and headstones and probably even worse where they put sand and cement and then Tile it and then bukhur and incense and flowers and all of that is haram. There is no disagreement between the ulama on this So then how do we make the grave? stand out as it being a grave so that people don't disrespect it. When Uthman ibn Mas'un passed away, عن, the Prophet وسلم, put a stone at the head of the grave. And then he said, وسلم, I'm putting a, a rock at the head of his grave so that we can know, I will recognize that this is the grave of my brother Uthman ibn Mas'un. Therefore, it should be something which is simple and basic, a rock, a plank of wood, uh, you know, any kind of a marker indicator to say that this is where the head of the grave is, so that people then respect it, people can then visit, make dua, remember the deceased, etc. But the issue now that we've got is, this is a personal thing that's happened with us in our family also, is that as generations pass by, we can't remember who is where and where they can be located. Therefore, there may be a need for us to write the person's name and that's it, just the name, just, you know, very basic information. Is that allowed or not? Now, that, like we said, based on the hadith of Jabu, Nahana peace on Allah alayhi wa sallam, just as the qabr, or yaktub alayhi, the Prophet wa sallam, forbade us from building upon the grave, anything, any kind of a structure around the grave. You might think building is like, you know, making a shrine. No, any kind of elevation of the grave is not permissible, or writing on the grave. But the ulama have said, if there is a need to write on the grave, and it becomes permissible. In its asal, in its base uh, ruling, it is makruh. And we know through a very common principle known with the fuqaha is that if something is makro, uh, you be in the hajj. Or to be in the hajj. So because there is a need, it becomes permissible because of that need. And this is the view of the Shafi'iyah. And this is the view of many of the ulama, contemporary as well, including the Thaymeen, Rahimullah is that if there is a need for us to write on the grave so that we can remember the person's grave doesn't get lost, the person's grave doesn't get disrespected or something like that, then you can have something which is very basic as a marker, as a placard or something like that with the person's name and then that's it. And because this is a contemporary issue, and if they mean goes into detail and saying that, look, the kuffar have gone into, you know, eulogizing that person, putting their dates and uh, and the things that they are known for, the date of birth, the day of this, the day, the day that they passed away, and all these different things that they used to do in jahiliyyah. The Prophet ﷺ in the hadith, Naha and Yaktubali, he forbade for us writing on the grave. And this is precisely what they used to do in jahiliyyah. So this is haram by what the Prophet ﷺ has said, but also because of the imitation which still then continues with the Jahiliyyah that these people are upon, we're not allowed to do that. However, if you need to write the name because of a need, that inshallah then becomes permissible, but the person takes what is basic as of that need. You know, you don't go beyond that. 
uh, that need. So I would say, you know, even a basic placard or a basic headstone, you can get even very small headstones now with just the person's name on it, put that at the head of where the person has passed away, inshallah. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has mercy on all of those who have passed away and that he has mercy on us when we go through with what they have gone through. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.